দর্শক করোনা ভাইরাসের প্রভাবে এক অনিশ্চিত সময় পার করছে বিশ্ব করোনা মহামারী নিয়ে সারা বিশ্বে প্রাণহানি বাড়লেও ব্যতিক্রম জার্মান পরিস্থিতি দেশটিতে আক্রান্তের সংখ্যা লাখ ছাড়ালেও প্রাণহানি ছয় হাজারের মতো যা বিশ্বের অন্য দেশকে আসার আলো দেখাচ্ছে কিন্তু কি ভালো সে বিষয়ে আলোচনা করব আন্তর্জাতিক সম্পর্ক উন্নয়ন বিষয়ক আর্টিভিক নিয়মিত অনুষ্ঠান ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জুড়ে আপনাদের সঙ্গে আছে আমি সৈয়দ আশিক রহমান আমাদের আজকের অতিথি বাংলাদেশে ফেডারেল রিপাবলিক অব জার্মানির রাষ্ট্রদূত হিজ এক্সেলেন্সি পিটার ফরেন হাউস ভেরি ওয়েলকাম ইউর এক্সেলেন্সি অ্যাট ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোন হ্যালো গুড মর্নিং ইটস এ প্লেজার টু বি টুগেদার উইথ ইউ উইথ আর টিভি ওয়ান অফ দ্য টিভি চ্যানেলস দ্যাট উই অলওয়েজ ওয়াচ আই থিঙ্ক দ্য মিডিয়া আর সো ইম্পর্টেন্ট এসপেশালি ইন দিস করোনা ক্রাইসিস টাইম দ্য মিডিয়া হ্যাভ এ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট রোল সো আই ইটস এ প্লেজার ফর মি টু বি হিয়ার এক্সেলেন্সি the whole world is suffering for covid-19 pandemic and bangladesh is not exceptional though our government is trying to help at its level best in your view what would be the best for the germany or european union to do for bangladesh right now well i think uh, all the whole world is struggling yes. all the countries in the world are struggling with the situation at the moment and uh, i think that bangladesh has a uh, reacted very early on when there were a few cases the government already decided to make the national holidays um which is the de facto lockdown and uh, to improve its services in the medical sector i think is very important but i want to say that uh, even though we are all struggling um bangladesh is not alone we still have to cooperate um the partners the partnership has to continue and i can assure you that we germany and the european countries we are the partners of bangladesh and uh, we are now already implementing measures to support bangladesh and its people in this uh, crisis um germany will make available 25 million us dollars for the rmg sector together with the european union they will make available 120 million us dollars about to support the workers in the rmg sector so all together this is um, about 140 million us dollars also germany my government will make available about 45 million us dollars additional financial funds to help the people in uh, the cox bazar district the host communities who live there who have been welcoming the rohingya and this is a very difficult situation and we want to help those people there and we also want to avoid that uh, corona crisis uh, has an impact on the um, on the rohingya so we will make available an additional 45 million us dollars to help the Cox- coxpada district to cope with this situation mr ambassador is there still a lack of communication between the expertise and the authority i mean the concerned department to prevent covid in bangladesh well you know this crisis is uh, unprecedented we have not seen anything like this uh, for at least 100 years uh, globally um at this scale it is something that all of our governments have a special challenge to deal with you know we have to find new ways how to deal with this we have to find new instruments how to deal with this my impression is uh, that the government of bangladesh has been learning very quickly and they have been adding uh, additional measures to cope with the crisis um so i think um, the um, learning curve is very high the government has been learning very quickly and has been implementing additional measures to make the response to the corona crisis ever better thank you excellency peter due to outbreak of deadly coronavirus a number of european union citizens left bangladesh what do you think on this well you know in a times like this in a crisis people want to be home they want to be with their families this is right. a normal response and i think uh, we need to help these people to get back home so we as germany we organized one flight um last night uh, the european union uh, organized a flight together with qatar airways and other countries also organized special flights for their citizens to return home to their families 
Well, it's understandable, and I'm sure everybody will come back when the times, once the times become normal. Actually, I have uh, one request to the government, which is uh, to enable commercial flights again. You know, Biman Air is having uh, financial difficulties because the airplanes are grounded. And all these special flights that we have organized were implemented with our own airlines, with our own aircraft, you know, Condor Air, which is a German, or Qatar Airways. You know, I think Biman Airways could organize these special flights to bring the foreigners to their home countries. And then through this, Biman Air could have some income uh, while at the moment all these planes are grounded. And right. Biman Air is having difficulties. So this is one request I have to the government. Well, well, thank you. Thank you for your advice, Ambassador Peter. Though there are around one and a half lakh people are affected in Germany, but its mortality rate is very low. Under what circumstances Germany does it to control this pandemic? Well, I think we are still studying this, but I think in Germany we started testing um, very early and we tested very widespread and uh, also the population was very disciplined uh, working from home and keeping the social distance. I think this is very important. Everybody needs to wear a face mask and to keep the social distance. We know that if you keep two meters distance, you are safe. You wash your hands two meters distance and then actually nothing can happen to you. So I think this contributed to the low mortality rate. At the moment, we have uh, 165,000 people, 1,65,000 people infected in Germany and 6,800 dead, which is too much. But uh, we were very lucky that we could contain this number to a low level. Well, in your country, was there any model to prevent COVID-19? I mean, is there any public-private partnership system to work during this crisis? Well, you know, nobody expected a crisis like this. It's unprecedented. We had earlier, we had uh, SARS and similar outbreaks, um, but on this scale, I think it is unprecedented. All our governments, Bangladesh, Germany, everywhere, we had to learn by doing. We had to make our own experiences, take our own lessons. I think in a crisis like this, it is important that everybody works together, the government, the private sector, the population, the media, everybody must contribute to solve this solution. The government alone cannot do it. It needs the cooperation of the private sector. This is very important. It's very important. And we just said that you started uh, step in on time and very disciplined way. And government and people all cooperated. So it is easy for you to prevent that COVID-19, right? Yes, that's what we have been trying. But of course, we had many infected people and uh, because uh, nowadays uh, in this, everybody is working together. Uh, we interact, uh, we go to work, we return to work, uh, we spend our holidays. It's a globalized world. The world yes. is globalized. We buy garments in Bangladesh, they come to Germany. Um, we have factories, German factories in other countries. And this makes us so vulnerable. But I think this crisis is not a reason to move away from globalization. Globalization is the right way forward. Free trade, globalized economies is the right way forward. But we must prepare for the next crisis. This must never happen again. If anything like this happens again, we need to contain it. Wherever it originates, locally, it must be contained. Great. Nice understanding your nice word. Excellency, Ambassador, we will talk more on some other issues after a short break. Darshok? দেখছেন আন্তর্জাতিক সম্পর্ক উন্নয়ন বিষয়ক আরটিভি নিয়মিত অনুষ্ঠান ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোন এই পর্যায়ে নিচ্ছি বিরতি ফিরছি একটু পরে সে পর্যন্ত আমাদের সাথেই থাকুন দর্শক আবারও আমন্ত্রণ ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোনে আমাদের আজকের অতিথি বাংলাদেশের ফেডারেল রিপাবলিক অফ জার্মানির রাষ্ট্রদূত হিজ এক্সিলেন্সি পিটার ফ্রাইন হোস ওয়েলকাম এগেইন মিস্টার অ্যাম্বাসেডর অ্যাট ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোন my pleasure. Excellency, why countries are proceeding 
to enhance lockdown like some other countries, Germany is also lifting it. Do you have any suggestion for Bangladesh? Well, you know, it's a difficult decision for the policy makers, for the responsible actors to keep the balance between the lockdown, which is difficult for the people, it's difficult for business, and it also restricts the freedom of people. On right. the one side, on the other side, lifting these, uh, this lockdown so that people can come back to the normal life. I think the most important is uh, to stop the infection. This must be the first priority. If right. we lift the lockdown too early, the corona infection will come back. And this does not help anybody. I think right. my advice would be stay on the safe side. Stay on the safe side until you are sure that the infection has been brought under control. And I think uh, for this also the media are so important because the journalists are everywhere in the country. They report about the situation in the country and they, in this way they contribute, they assist the government and all other actors in controlling this corona crisis. Well, Excellency Peter, China is saying that they have a special model to prevent COVID-19. How did you reach at community level to our people on this pandemic? I don't know about uh, what is happening in, uh, in China. As I said, the, one of the lessons learned is we need to prevent anything like this ever happening again. We need rules for this. Uh, we need multilateral rules for this. So this will never happen again. The second, again. Is, the second lesson is, if it should happen again, we need to have um, apply the lessons that we can control and contain such an event as fast as possible. I think the German media reported very much about corona at all levels. The government alone cannot reach the people so in a wide scale and so quickly as the media. So I think the German media took up uh, corona, how to prevent to get infected, and they reported about it from morning to evening in all factors. Mm -hmm. Also at the local level, we need the communities, the villages, uh, the, the townships, uh, at the local level, the authorities need to be informed because they are the closest to the people. They need to reach out to the people to uh, educate them uh, what to do to prevent getting infected, what to do once they are infected. And they need to have uh, the uh, contribution of the people. You know, you need to, to give the necessary information to the people so that they understand and from their own will, they will um, behave in a disciplined way. Mr. Ambassador, in your country, do you have any strategy to introduce testing kits as if other countries can exchange their technology? When we look at this, uh, the scale of this crisis, we need to, uh, you know, um, exchange information, uh, medical information, research information, and uh, the high, one of the highest priorities is to work on a cure. Which of these uh, four medications that have been uh, highlighted is the best cure for corona? This is what researchers need to find out. Then we need to produce these medicines and we need to make them available to third world countries at affordable prices also. Then the next one is the vaccination. We need a vaccination, which well, also needs to be made available, not only to the rich countries, but also to developing countries in a, with affordable prices. And I think this is very important. Testing kits are extremely important. Testing kits should be made available also by private companies with affordable prices. Excellency, to identify the case and ensure treatment, how does your government train physicians and nurses to fight COVID-19? Well, one thing we learned is how important it is uh, to prepare our health system to such a crisis. We need doctors, we need nurses, and I think in Bangladesh, one of the lessons learned is um, to invest more in the health sector. Uh, I have been reading in the newspapers um, that um, you need more nurses, and I think this is something also to be uh, discussed with the development partners. Um, in Germany, we are lucky to have a good health system. 
we prepared. We needed to procure uh, personal protective equipment, PPE, face masks. Uh, much of these many of these materials were produced in China. Surely, one lesson we learned is that um, we need to be self-sufficient in exactly. personal PPE and masks. And I think the Bangladeshi garment sector has uh, recognized this, and they're producing PPE and uh, uh, face masks now in ever-increasing quantities to use them in Bangladesh and then also eventually to export. Mr. Peter, how does your mass media and citizens accept your initiative to fight against COVID-19? Well, I think the population understood the need to um, accept the measures, to uh, stay home, to keep social distancing. It's hard. In a crisis, you want more communication. In a crisis, you want to be close to people. But this corona crisis forces us to keep away from each other. This makes it very difficult. Um, the people understood this, but the longer this uh, continues, the more restless people become. It's not easy to stay at home, not to go to work, not to meet your friends and family Especially members. Especially for children. Especially for, for children. children. So hard. So, but we, but we need to have the patience. And, uh, but there's one benefit out of this uh, crisis is that we are learning now how to work digitally. We don't always need to travel by car or by airplane to another place. We are now learning much better how to handle, like we are doing now, interviews, video conferences, how to handle our work um, digitally and online. I think this is a very good lesson. Also, it means, it means you want to tell that the good part or good side of this crisis and what we learned, what we never learned early or before. Yes, that's a good side coming out, a good lesson. You know, when you look at climate change, you know, people used to travel by car, by airplane, just to attend a conference. And this was bad for climate change. Now we are learning we don't necessarily need to do this. We can work very well together um, using these platforms for video conference. Some experts, they are telling that it is another good part that maybe some people, they can give a good time to their family. But this is another good part that they can give their quality time to their family. I agree. Families can grow closer together. We were yes. also busy working from early morning to late evening, being stuck in traffic jams. Now we have the families come together. And another lesson is that we see how peaceful Dhaka city has become. We yes. should see later on what can we do to keep Dhaka more clean, clean air, more peaceful. Very good, very, very good advice, very good uh, your opinion. Well, Excellency, last week you visited one hospital in Bangladesh. What is your observation and findings? Yes, I visited the Sheikh Russell Institute and uh, I was uh, very impressed. It was a brand new hospital uh, with a very high level and very good equipment. Um, in the ICU, in the intensive care units, uh, they use uh, uh, very modern German equipment and also from other countries. Um, the staff there, they're um, very dedicated. Uh, many of them have been trained, or doctors have been trained abroad. The nurses were very nice and very dedicated. It made an excellent impression. I think it will be, um, it's, it's brand new. It's just beginning operations right now. This hospital has the potential to become one of the best hospitals in Southern Asia. Excellency? We are almost end of the program. Any final thought you want to share with our viewers? Well, I want to ask, uh, just um, um, wish the government and the people of Bangladesh uh, to get through this crisis well, um, to have uh, patience and to overcome this crisis. Uh, I think all of us, we will come out of this crisis stronger than before. And the second message is that Bangladesh is not alone. Even we are also struggling. We remain committed as partners to Bangladesh and we are finding ways to support the government and people of Bangladesh in this situation. And uh, I'm very happy to see that uh, Bangladesh is uh, having putting on a good fight 
in this corona crisis. Thank you. Thank you for being with us and hope to see you again and you stay safe. Thank you very much. You too. Stay safe. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Dashuk, Gala actually is about to be a shastra job to be getting Nobel Puruskar Pechen, that all for Kaikan Bade, Shabai Hoy American, Noi German, Kimba British of Rush. Balachi, Gan began Unuti, Bipur or Tushampot, or Shukti Motto to Jogotish Kota. We should have such a Manuita Hoy, Nuitic Mulode, Bitti Rupoja the Protestitona Hoy, Tahole, Prokiti Protestion Day. Shelko Shamai Hoy to Park Kuchibishu. তবে এত কিছু পরেও জার্মানি যেভাবে পথ দেখিয়েছে তা সত্যি আশা সঞ্চার করে মহামারী এই সময়ের অচিরে সমাপ্তি ঘটুক এই প্রত্যাশা শেষ করছি আজকের ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোন আর দর্শক আপনারা বাড়িতেই থাকুন নিরাপদেই থাকুন এতক্ষণ আমাদের সঙ্গে থাকার জন্য ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে Subscribe and press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update.